Illustrator is a regular little treasure chest of things. Things that you wouldn't even imagine are there, which will make your life a lot easier when working in Photoshop. Way over here, we have this billboard of some boots. I'm going to come in close on the high-res version of one of those boots right here. Now, when we look at this boot, we see that there's this snake skin right here. Well, when we look at the layers for the snake skin, and let's go down here to just look at the basic orange shape of that part of the boot, which has a bunch of things clipped into it. We start looking at them. There's this little yellow hazel on the edge there, and there's one snake skin, which has a mask so that it blends easily into the other snake skin right on top of it. There's some little highlights on top of that, and there's the stitching in place, and there's little shadows that make it all look real. Now, that snake skin, you can actually find in Illustrator. So let's go to Illustrator and see where that is. Okay, so we have a swatches palette over here. I'm gonna just create a little box. We'll just set this up so that there's no fill. Well, we'll give it a little black line. There we go, so it has a little black line. But we're gonna give it a little fill. We're gonna select the little fill swatch here. I'm gonna to go to my color swatches. And here I have this little folder which opens up and has all these additional kind of swatches that I can import. And we have here a little thing called nature, and we have neutrals, we have patterns, all kinds of things. Like even in patterns, we have right there in nature, nature animal skins. So I'm going to click on that, which brings up a whole set of skins. And right there, there's a snake skin that we found in the file. Here's an another snake skin. There's the two snake skins that I used right there. So they automatically fill into the palette as it's being used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and put it up here, make it a little smaller, and I'm going to create another box down here. And this one I'm going to fill with that other snake skin. So what happened is that these two skins were then imported into the Photoshop file where they were recolorized and put in position to create the snake skin that you see there. Now there's so many other things that we can find here in Illustrator. Like for instance, you want some splattered paint or something like that. Well, under your symbols, you have another little set right here. And one of them is already visible there, but we can come down here and look at all these different elements that you can pick up and throw into your images. So like, for instance, we have some nature stuff here as well, and we have some retro and sushi. And I would suggest you just go look at some of these things to see what's available. So there's a little grime vector pack. And there you go. There's a little splatter like that one, which is right here. So I can go in there and say, pick this one and pick that one as well. So now I can go in here and I could just take this and drag it out here and there's my little splatter and there's another little splatter and there's another little splatter. So we have these little splatters that we can just use in any way we want. In fact, let's go use those in a particular way. I'm going to open up a file. This file and this file. So here they are. I have two different files here. So in this file, I have this public enemy sign. And what I want to do is I just want to duplicate this. And the one on top, I'm going to get a nice bright red color. So let's get a bright red color like that. Now that I have that color, I'm going to go in here and fill this layer. I'll say fill foreground color in darken mode. So I have that. So now I'm going to go to that other file that I opened a second ago, which is this one. And it's a layer by itself. So in that layer, I'm going to do a select all. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go back to that other file right here. And in that layer above this, I'm going to paste. There they are. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip the top one with that bottom one. And there we see that we have our little splotches, which can be moved at any time. So I can take that layer. Let's grab the right layer, this one here. And uh, I can move those splotches around. And wherever they go, they're going to have that same effect on the layer below it giving me that effect there. But these were all shapes that came out of Illustrator, and Illustrator is filled with hundreds of them, and they're vector shapes. So they don't take up a tremendous amount of room on your machine, and they can easily be manipulated once they bring them into Photoshop.